my name is Greg Gross. I'm a professor at the Northern Ontario School of Medicine, which is at Lakehead and Laurentian Universities. And I'm an environmental researcher. Specifically, I work on issues related to health and the environment. Our focus on this particular project is looking at a problem called blue-green algae, which is also known as cyanobacteria. It's a major problem in that it contaminates waterways. It does produce toxins that can be uh, damaging to health under the right conditions. Blue-green algae tends to, to flourish when the temperatures are a little bit higher. So as temperatures are increasing uh, in our areas, we're seeing more and more blooms, which are a big health problem. So we're going to be imaging Muskie Bay with uh, a camera mounted on an airplane, very, very high resolution uh, camera. My name is Mike Cezadlo. I'm the program manager for the imagery department at Discovery Air Fire Services. We uh, worked with the, uh, the Ministry of Ontario to develop a system where we'd be able to use thermal imagery to map fires. And from that, it slowly progressed to this platform here where uh, it uh, houses a multi-spectral sensor, so it catches five bands of data, red, green, blue, near infrared, and thermal. Typical internet right now, you're getting about two megabytes a second or something like that, whereas, you know, if you're trying to push gigabytes, that could take hours to upload, you know, even days in some cases. So uh, it's really crucial to have that high, high bandwidth capacity kind of internet to push the data from A to B, because uh, B is where all the heavy computation is going to happen, and that's where you kind of want to expedite that process. So a lot of our research is based on hundreds of square kilometers of, of area. Uh, we've got vast geographies in the north, and we're able to image them, store those images very quickly, transport those images around for analysis and interpretation, and, uh, and get them in the hands of the users. Without a high-speed network, without a high-capacity network that we have with Orion, for example, we wouldn't be able to do this research. At this stage, it's a research project. So we have to tie our imaging into what's called ground truthing, which is actually collecting samples on the ground so we can validate that those images are telling us exactly what we think we're telling you. You know, it's, it, the, the technologies that came about as a, as, a, as a result of digital photography, for example, high performance computing that's available to us now, the almost unlimited capacity for memory on computers that we have access to now, and, uh, and some, some ways of managing very large data sets really enable us to do this research. Uh, you know, I'm very fortunate to collaborate with some tremendous scientists at many academic institutions uh, in the province. Uh, we've got collaborations in southern Ontario, of course, at a number of institutions, as well as right across the north, uh, particularly at our host institutions at Lake and U Laurentian Universities. Ultimately, of course, the goal is to be able to get that data in the hands of decision makers, such as public health, very, very rapidly so they can respond appropriately. And if there needs to be a beach closure, they can close a beach quickly rather than having to wait as I said, uh, weeks or longer even, to get data back from an analytical facility saying that there was a problem a week ago. That's simply not good enough. We've got better ways now to uh, manage that problem.